Hello guys, it's December 1st, so Merry Christmas and thanks for stopping by this video. Let's have a look towards getting all the trees to level 4. Hello guys and welcome to Agus Bar and we're back in the game. I haven't been inside the game for two days, so I didn't really notice the patch that they pushed here on November 28th. And in my opinion, it's a pretty good patch because they have been dealing with a lot of the issues we have been dealing with. So the game should be running a lot smoother. We should not be seeing any glitched out or missing uh, animals, plants, buildings and such. And apart from that, there's also various little small glitch fixes that should make the uh, game overall better. So yeah, I think Dreamlit has really uh, shown that they care about this game and they're gonna take it somewhere. So yeah, I'm gonna keep playing this because I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I know I can be a bit harsh on early access games if you've seen some of my previous videos um, and in this case I also have been but I really think that it it's starting to grow on me and I think the improvements they made so far shows that there is it, it makes sense for me to keep playing it so yeah so what's on the menu today well I was thinking I want to see how much effort it's gonna take to get all the trees uh, up to level 4 and then see if I can get a single tree up to level 5. And that's why this video is probably going to be edited a lot. Because I'm expecting that this is going to take uh, some hours to do so. So let's just get right into it. Unfortunately, I logged in and I forgot my bags were completely filled. So I think it's time to go back to Midhaven and I'll fl offload the bags. And then we can take it from there. So at this point, I'm actually considering whether I should be building a few, you know, few more chests to mitigate the problem of constantly having filled bags uh, because I'm yeah <laughs> I'm a bit of a hoarder so I have a hard time letting go of stuff uh, because I know at some point I'm probably gonna need it right so let's see here oh dear we need a lot of materials here right I mean resin we can just go back to um, Amani Island uh, Lapeer village and gold dust, yeah, I mean, that's not too hard to get. Fiber as well, let's just do that, at least for one chest more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that first. So, finally managed to build this final chest and actually cleaned up a bit or tidied up a bit. Uh, this is how my brain works. Uh, I really like to keep somewhat of a separation between the types of materials. Whoops. Um, so you can see I have wood, I have or oh, anything that's kind of natural and then we have all the minerals over here we have all the uh, cloth here and then this one that's all the seeds and the same goes over here we have you know all the specialized materials all the food some pigments we have some more food that couldn't fit in the other food uh, pigments yeah and yeah, for some reason we can't scrap these, um, but the armor I'm wearing now is actually better, so yeah. I don't know, I'm just I'm just keeping them for now. Um, so now I am ready to get out and see if we can find some more stuff for the the trees. The one down at Lapeer here, the Lopeer, it's actually pretty close. It only needs amity and dung, so that's no issue. Or it will be because we need to get a lot of it. And what else do we have? Then we have this one over here. I can't remember, can we actually see it here? King tree. So they're both stuck at only needing amity and dung. But it's like 500 apiece, right? So it, it's still going to take some time. I mean, we got to destroy some nests to get to that point where we can actually upgrade more. Uh, the same goes with that one. So basically, yeah, uh, maybe we should just get out there and destroy some withered nests. And see if we can gather 1500 amity. It's quite a lot, but, you know, if I can find some of the big ones, then it might not take, take that long. But let's just head straight into it, right? Whoops. Let's start over here. Maybe get inside the portal first.
Well, maybe not as tempo actually. I, was, I just figured wasn't there a huge nest around here? Was that over here? It was actually over here, wasn't it? We're not gonna go to a stimmel, we're gonna take the other one. Uh, but first we're gonna grab this, actually. And then we can go to the other one. Zamku Shrine, because I remember there being a huge nest down here, just below. There's one there. Uh, anyone else? No? And then we can also finish Hoa's quest, where I need to scope out a few withered creatures. Whoops. Hello, you. Try me. And again, you know, even though we might get it stuck in a situation where we actually need to kill kill these guys, uh, remember it cast Amity. So, don't work against yourself when you're trying to get Amity. <laughs> Withered snag. He's gonna start shooting at us. Resolith. Oh, please let me scan him before he gets here. Grunt. She's doing it around now, but we can just keep going for a little bit. See, sometimes it feel like it's yeah, it does to the freak anyways. So that gave us 100 amity. Only 14 more to go. <laughs> of the big ones, the small ones only give 50. So. Arr. Oh dear, what a time to break my spear. <laughs> Best head back. So you can see this is gonna take a while. I guess you even have to prepare and bring a lot of spears or bows or apple and arrows. But I mean, having to destroy that, that many. You still have to spend a lot of time farming mats to build the stuff. So yeah, there's no really good way around it. I mean, you could just plant seeds and all that, but that's still gonna take a hell lot of seeds. I mean, it, it will only give you nine seeds, uh, nine uh, amity points per seed, roughly. So, yeah, that's not even gonna be that fast, I think. Yeah, I think it, it doesn't really matter. Just do whatever you feel like. Um, it's, it's probably roughly gonna take the same amount of time to gather that amount of amity. Again, let's go and see if we have the materials to build another spear. So one thing I think I, I tried to dance a little bit around because I was only just, you know, learning the game myself, but I've come to a conclusion in regards to Amity. And I think you have to... If you don't want to make the game too long for yourself or too, you know, put too much work into it or work harder than you need, 
what you have to do is actually divide it into kind of little segments for yourself. So, when you're at a low point in Amity, take advantage of that by actually using that bit, um, situation to farm stuff. Because the way the game is, is made is that you can't go into negative Amity. So if you're at zero, you can just farm as much as you want. Um, basically tear down your entire forest, right? And then you can rebuild with seeds and start getting Amity. So don't go hunting and killing Withered Nest if you didn't know you have to go and gather stuff afterwards because you're just gonna, you know, put up unnecessary work for yourself. So get to a low point, use that low point to farm materials, then start gathering Amity, whether you do it with the killing nests or you do it by putting seeds or saving animals. That's up to you, of course. Just to let you know, it doesn't make sense to do it the other way around. So yeah, I think it's it's quite important because I've been doing that for a few times and then I started thinking, this is wrong, I shouldn't be doing like this. So yeah, just a little tip to help you out. But the Phoenix Candles are now ready to be raised to level 4. But my issue again, or still, is that, you know, we need so much Amity for this. I just handed in the dung. I do have the strange seeds. The shoey fruit isn't a problem because we can get those from the uh, temperate seed, uh, the temperate tea tree. Uh, and the other trees will require fruits from, you know, each other. So it all matches up in the end. But the Amity is gonna be... <laughs> that's the one that's holding me back right now, as well as farming stuff. Uh, also, I realized that it might be sensible to actually upgrade your cities or locations. So we have the farming village or the mining village down here. I haven't done a single thing to that yet, which is a bit of a pity. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need stuff from that at some point. Maybe at level, level 5. Um, so you should be spending time both doing this and doing low pier as well. I just upgraded low pier, but now I have the issue of missing gold. Um, so I have to get that and uh, currently the farm is making cops, which is also a requirement to upgrade um, So yeah uh, th There's no way to actually only work on For example Midhaven you have to combine your uh, efforts on all three locations And you know what maybe even four at some point. I don't know because I haven't gotten that far yet. So let's see how it goes did we just get attacked by uh, a Rasi, a Rasalith or something? I think it took off again. Anyways, just to look here. This is the requirements for this village. It needs a tier 3 Midhaven, so we can't even rebuild this yet before we rebuild Midhaven. Uh, then we need to destroy blobs. Uh, I don't even remember what that is. Anyways, uh, apparently I killed 19 and only need one more. Culture points is relatively easy, just have to make buildings, right? And then we meet, need to make two specialized buildings for the mining village here. Um, and let's have a look at those. That's the clay pit and it's the hearth. So, yeah, clay pit will give you clay. I uh, can't really see what the hearth does yet. Um, you can probably Google it, maybe, but at, or you know, come back here when I finish that. So for the clay pit, we need limestone, clay, oil. Actually, I think I have all this. So maybe we should just go back and get it. Silly not to make it, right? So we can find it. Since we find out that we can just use the stations here, uh, let's go and do that. And I mean, make it a habit for yourself to write things down on a piece of paper, for example, because like you can see I, I have a really, sometimes I have a really shitty memory and then sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, keep a notepad on your next to you and then write down and then because since you're gonna do this, this segment wise anyways uh, in order to avoid penalizing yourself with the um, with the Amity back and forth might as well just write it up there we go, there's the oil so you can gather it all at once and then yeah, you know it's, it's gonna take some time, so you're eventually you're probably gonna forget anyways what it was that you needed. So let's try and make this building here. Clay pit. Build. 
Can we fit it inside? Can't even fit inside, so <laughs> it's quite big. Wow. Okay, uh, where can we put this? That was a huge building. So, yeah, hopefully this little mistake of mine here will help you out, not do the same. Now I hope I can place it here, because that seems a bit far away, doesn't it? Too far away. I think I remember there being a little plateau up here, so maybe we're lucky that it will fit there. Otherwise, I am in a bit of a pickle, actually, I, hope, I think. See, this is more flat, and hopefully it will recognize this as being close enough. Although it's not optimal building up here, of course. I can't even rotate it now? Why? So do I need to... Okay, so here's what I think. Maybe we need to build a plateau now. Or build foundations. Maybe that's the thing. And hopefully... We are allowed to place that in the vicinity here. It's gonna look bad, I know. But that's just the way... Yeah, see... Oh, that's... Yeah, that might save us, actually. Don't you think? Now I just wanna at least place it somewhere relatively nice or ish. <laughs> Can we place it here? There's actually a spot here where it allows me to. Maybe... Oh! Here's a sweet spot. And see, it, you know, one step to the one side and all that, you get to do it and then you go another way and then you can't. So try and fiddle around with it a bit and see what works for you. I'm hope what's that in the middle? This looks like graphics error or oh, this is annoying. Maybe go like this. Maybe not so high. Let's keep it a bit low, like this. Then we still have a path next to the uh, main build. Let's see if this works. And it's, how is it? Can we remove foundations? I don't think I can. Uh, this should be right. Don't you think? Let's try it. Uh, build. Come on, don't say that. Inadequate flooring. So I basically need to, I need to make another foundation in order to have enough space to do this. I think, in my opinion, that needs a bit of dev work. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, this is just too much hassle for, for this. So we're gonna go back, build another foundation and see if we can align it so there will be enough flooring. I think another way you could look at it, because I've been looking at it very organic or how do you want to say as stuff is but you could argue that maybe i should have found made foundations all over the place and then place these buildings on top of the foundation i mean that that is a valid argument as well so take that into consideration if you want to do that instead maybe you would place foundations all over here and kind of give you something uh, a steady base to build on let's see how much we can get away with here uh, so we can kind of overlap a little bit, maybe like so. So you can see now it's quite a lot bigger, it's almost seamlessly blended, but is it enough to carry the clay pit? Uh, again, we're going here, try and place it. Oh, I think we might be saved now. And then remember to elevate it to your liking. Uh, I mean, you could go really low if you want. That might look nice. And then just sit it where it's possible. I think we're going to go with this one. So again, yeah, not the optimal build. I know. Um, but that's just the way it is now. So let's hand all this in. We now have a clay pit. Nice. Okay, let's see how this works. So we go over here and we get to make clay, clay, and we can make terracotta. 
So what is this? Apply raw material that can be shaped freely to any craft and society used as material in construction fill orders. So I'm not going to put this on production <laughs> just now or just yet because I don't know if when or if we're going to need it and if we're going to need more clay for other stuff. So we have the hearth for example. Oh, thank god I didn't because that needs clay. We need hardwood, coal and thatch. Coal. Thank god I made all these collections here or saved all that material. Thatch is being a bit annoying today. Probably because I've been gathering and needing it so much so... It almost feels like <laughs> it's exhausted or the game knows I'm trying to get fast thatch exclusively. Let's see if that a little bit... I can't remember how much patch we needed. See, that's where the pen and paper comes in handy. Build... Earth... Yes, we have enough. Exactly enough. That was lucky. So let's see how big it is. So, I'm not as big. I think this might actually be able to live on just one foundation. But as you can see... No, no, no let's try again, actually. It's not so big, right? So maybe we can actually seed it. Uh, normally, just by raising it. Oh, oh, yes, we can, so we don't need to make a foundation. Uh, but can we place it sensibly then? What about up here? Oh, that would be nice, right? Because this is kind of an annoying, annoying area here. Just raise it a little bit. I'm going like that. So now we got the hearth. And what was the hearth for? Convert minerals into more refined forms. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, so this one has a little bit more organic look now that I managed to see it in the, uh, in the cliffs around us. That's nice. So here we can use coal. And we can use coal. Get coal and coal. <laughs> So maybe that's just the first step, right? Because we haven't upgraded it so much yet. So yeah, initially you can just make a lot more coal or you can just go farm it. But now you know you can and we needed the building for the upgrade anyway, so it's not like it was wasted. So what else is here? Tier 2 will give us a stone quarry and a kiln. I think the kiln is needed to make steel bars. Um, so that's very relevant because we uh, don't have access to any of the steel materials yet. Or the uh, weapons, because I don't have steel bars. So what do we need to be, have done here? Midhaven needs to go to tier 3. We have to destroy one more with the blob and then culture points. That's where the walls back in the uh, storage comes in handy, because that's going to give us a few more points easily. Okay, what was this guy trading? Was that gold? Yes, it is. Uh, I need one dust to make, make one more nugget. Well, so far so good. Then we can head back to Midhaven and just have a look at what are the requirements for tier 3 after all this. Because I honestly don't recall. Do we see it in here? Arming tower tier 3. And tier 2. I think the carp should be ready by now. Uh, maybe we need to go up here actually. Hilt the Jubanga return to Agashba. And culture points. So we are pretty much there. I just need to do this quest. Um, and then maybe instead of using the walls at the mining village, use the walls here instead to upgrade uh, the culture points. But well, let's head to Vinguri first. That uh, must be up here. Portal. Vinguri! Oh, I shall need you to fill the offering bowl, then ring the traditional gong of summoning for me to know it's done. Then I will send. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, that's always something, right? Um, but maybe we look if we already have the food. Can we actually see that on the. It does not say. I guess we have to go down and look. Because I honestly don't know what we need to put in there. Well, how lucky are we? We have all that in Midhaven. So let's go back and get that. One of each. So, handing in. 
up to the gong, which is up there. Okay, here's the gong. Let's hit it. Um, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why I had dragons in my mind and all that. Um, do you know what these guys remind me of? In Denmark, we call them silverfish. Uh, it's the kind of creatures that crawl around on your floor if you have too much dust and you know dirt. So yeah, wonderful silverfish here. Um, reminding me of having to clean my apartment. Do you think I can land on them? Let's try, see what happens. Oh, we can actually ride to Jubanga. That's uh, funny. Oh, and we can pick something? We can pick seed cluster from the back. Okay, this is kind of unique and interesting. So we can use them as a uh, traveling thing. Strange seeds and binder. Oh, oh no, fell down. Are there any more? <laughs> They're higher up. Hello, Jibanga. Oh well. So yeah, you did see the end credits, and of course, this is just the main story that has come to an end that we brought back to Jibanga, but. You could keep going here, you could try and upgrade as much as possible, and uh, as you can see, the journal is not complete yet. I mean, we still have a few uh, items here to complete. When like Bay, the trees. I want to see how big you can make the trees. So that could be uh, something you can, you know, spend time on, just improving your ecosystems. Huh. Let's see what he, he needs here. Oh, he needs me to feed creatures. And only three of them, that should be doable, right? Let's see this little guy here. Why won't you tell me what you need? Because I can't remember what he eats. Why, why is the beetle pump on? Let's go then. Was it something else that we didn't, hadn't seen yet? Well, it seems like there was a lot of Free stuff here. We can just pick up. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, then we go to the human decks, I guess, and find him. Beetle pups. No, it doesn't say what they need, right? But that doesn't matter. That's a little glitch, but let's see. Maybe they like. Do we have any fruit? Oh, I don't want to spend these. I guess not. We'll come back and feed them later. I don't have the right. Maybe some cactus. Let's see if anyone likes cactus. Link. Careful not to eat it. Oh yeah, someone does. 
Great, so that's one animal. Maybe if someone likes milk? Nah, not here. But if we can get more cactus, what does this give us? Crystal? Oh. And this is hay. That just gives us seeds. This is LA, alright? LA root. Yeah. But this little guy got some food. Did he drop some dung? That would be um, useful. Well, I guess we need to come back with some more cactus then. Because the point, my point was that I was trying to reach is that I have three trees and this is the fourth. I've, I'm guessing we're going to need four to get to level five. So it, this needs to be upgraded anyways. Uh, yep. Well, so far so good. Let's get back to Hoa because that's an old quest. Might as well complete that. Hope she gives some kind of upgrade or something. Armor, weapon kind of thing we can use to defend ourselves. So who is right here? Yes, we learned, we learned. Give us some stuff, please. We got a greater withered antidote. So yeah, I guess that's helpful. Huh, okay. Took a poke at Ajit there. Um, great, that's one. And then there's the hand quests. Oh, we actually get a, a reward for that. We could just go do that. And then we need... Uh, we need culture points. Oh, they're flying all around now. Yeah, so just... Just <laughs> 135 culture points. That's uh, quite a few buildings, uh, anyways. So maybe just scout what it is we need to make those buildings. Oh, we can actually make some of them. That's 20 points, but quite expensive. I mean, it's almost like it's cheaper to make these. Two thatch, one thatch. Wow, there's actually no point in making these if you look at the culture point of view. And then there's these big guys. And the arch, 16 points. Anything else? Or. Two, three, eight, fifteen. I mean, if you want to cheese it, you could basically just make a lot of these. Do you think we... <laughs> I get fifteen and I needed what? 135? Let's make nine. Nineteen. Nine, nine. Let's make nine. Wow. That's a bit of a cheese, but you know. <laughs> Let's go smack these up around the place. I think maybe one here. Placed on the flooring. Ish. So now <laughs> Midhaven has a lot of culture. Let's get up here. An upgrade to tier 3. Upgrade. Ah oh yeah, of course, there's gonna be another catch here. Sustain pillar. Oh, that's where we need the terracotta and we need more carp and we need a go another gold bar. Oh, okay. 
Um, so yeah, I guess we just have to do that. And we need clay for the the carp as well. So we gotta go to the clay pit and initiate the production there. So we can have a whole lot of clay. But at least now we got the carp. Uh, what was it we needed here? Was that carp and gold, right? One carp handed in and the gold bar. We need to... Oh, that improved a little bit. We have that one, so we need six gold dust, which means we should probably go back home and farm maybe coal, crystals. So we've got enough dust to make a lot of nuggets. Let's make all we can. There we go. And head back in and make the gold bar. This one. Thank you. And we needed that for loop here. So let's hand that in straight away. So loop here will be tier two. Get here. So we got a few new items here, basic windmill, a torch, farm drying rack, creative fertilizer, and that's it. So we can now make animal pens, we need cob for that, fur, thatch, wood, a production building that houses creatures produce resources from them uh, over time. Oh that's nice. And then we got a deli, I think that might be something food wise, so yeah. Is this uh, city still upgradable then? Or village? What does it say? Highest tier. So this is as high as the farming village goes. Um, and should I make this now? I don't know if I want to. I'd rather focus on the trees actually. Uh, if they can grow any bigger. So, what else do we have? We still have Midhaven that needs another gold bar. We need to initiate some carb, initiate some terracotta. Let's just remind ourselves that was fetching clay, right? So the free carb needs... Huh, quite a lot. 30 thatch and 15 clay. We do have the clay. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I guess... Gather 28 car, uh, fetch. That's just what we have to do, I guess. So another way to doing this whole seed thing is that you don't just use it in ecosystems. I know this is info you we should probably have shared a lot earlier, but as you can see, both strange and common seeds can be planted anywhere. So you can basically make a farm here that uh, gives you easy access to various kind of plants. And it gives a hell of a lot of points, especially the strange seeds, which give 30 points per plant. And the other ones are 9. So as you can see, I already gathered 583 amity points. Now I'm going to spend these on one of the trees. Uh, let's just make sure we have not done. We actually don't, which is why we're going to bring uh, a lot of food. So we can feed different kind of animals. Uh, but let's just offload a bit of the materials first. Uh, we don't still don't have enough fetch to make. Well, we can make one. Uh, let's just do that. Here we go. Cob, convert. Just one. Good. So yeah, the reason I started planting the seeds was I got really tired of walking around here and picking up these bushes uh, just to get almost no thatch. Um, so I was hoping that some of those plants that I just uh, planted will eventually turn into plants that will give us fetch. So we don't have to work so hard for that. So, back again. And let's head to... let's do Midhaven first.
and then offload, grab some food, and then go to the mining ecosystem and upgrade that tree. Because I actually have food for Bararo now, I think, don't I? Uh, oh, he needed corn. Where do we put that? Oh, we did feed him, yeah. We fed, I fed him earlier. So we need 25 dung, which is probably going to cost some food. Let's just get a variation, a variety of food here. Maybe we get lucky with some of it. Oh, we can make more of these, actually. That would probably be more helpful. So we have these over here in the... Um, the new food place, the oven here, where we can make these treats, these types here. Well, we can only make one. That's fine. Could probably be just fine. What do we need for this? We need sausage. We have eggs. We have milk. Let's make two sausages if we can. So uh, this has been taking place over a couple of days. This recording now. And there's been a few little fixes and patches along the way. Um, before this moment here, you're at, um, the swing sheets were giving 30 amity per seed that you planted. Now they've been reduced to 15, but it's still, uh, in my opinion, a good way to get amity. These, of course, are just common seeds. I already planted the swing sheets down here in the end. And you will get about uh, a positive of 5 amity for each seed that you plant uh, after harvest. So, in, in my opinion, it's still worth it because you get the material from them, from them as well. And, yeah, as you can see, I'm getting closer to 1000 amity, which is what I need to finish up the two other trees. So I thought, let's just catch up again once I'm near, I'm near the goal and we'll see how... The upgrade goes. Of course, I also need to feed some animals, so to get all the dung we need, we need 100 dung to complete two trees. So there's a little bit of feeding that has to go on. And yeah, I think I'm gonna try and see what I can do in terms of making food, the snacks that they like. Uh, there's some of the better snacks, and see if there's a difference in the type of poop. Maybe they give better seeds or something, more materials. But yeah, let's give it a go and see what happens. And actually, I didn't notice this before, but there is something called an area budget. I guess that's the amount of plants that you're allowed to... Or seeds you're allowed to plant in the area. Can't really tell if it's going up, but that must mean there's room or space for a whole lot of seeds. So yeah, no big deal. And like I mentioned earlier, try to divide up your sessions or parts. Into, or yeah, your progress into segments. Oh, something wrong with Shingo. I can't get him to uh, go up in full stamina. But yeah, try to pu uh, put your progress into segments so you focus on getting Amity or focusing on spending Amity. And basically, only harvest when you are at zero Amity. Because you can't go into negatives, so yeah. So, we're back here with the iron shovel. Let's try and look at this bold side plant here. See what he can offer in terms of strange seeds. We got one from that one, so that's good. It was a bit expensive, wasn't it? I didn't notice now how much we were at at first. 907, let's have a look this time. That's 10. And we got two strange seeds with us. Now we have enough strange seeds. I think I'm gonna return then. Do we have any ripe seeds or anything? No, I didn't bring those, did I? But we got the seeds here. And now we're gonna need to go back and pick up the shoey fruits. And then we can head to... Let's... Oh, wait. Let's just check here. Carrots and shallow... I don't want to give him fruits, but if I had carrots, I do. Goody. Here. Eat that. Because we want the, uh, the dung. And I think actually the... Bigger creatures, the named ones here, that comes when you upgrade the tree, do offer a lot of the times better uh, loot Whoa. once you feed them. You got quite excited, right? Let's see. Did you put anything down for me? Please do. No? Oh, that's a bit uh, discouraging. <laughs> huh. Because that was one of the reasons I wanted to feed them. 
Do you need more? No? Okay, let's go and try on his mate then. If there are any more one else here. Last time there were three Gorillamos, so hopefully they haven't died or been killed or anything. Otherwise we can feed this bird here. Don't run. He wants mushroom caps and milk. Let's give him some milk. Oh, we can feed that here as well. What else do we have? Like this to that. And not that way. So no dung from either Kirill mouse. Okay, so the bird did give his dung. He gave three. It's hardly enough, right? Just want to check here if I missed the dung from this big guy. Okay, then we know. Settle for feeding the smaller animals. Because they will definitely poop. We know that from previously. So, I guess go to the arid region. The mining village. Oh, he even gave a strange seed. So you can see it's definitely worth doing it, right? And we got another three dung. So that's going the right direction. The one over here. Phoenix candles. We have the amity. Dung has been handed in. Strange fruit. We just need the sugary fruit. I'm pretty sure that's up in the uh, Phoenix candle tree. So... Let's see if Shingo has been coming better. No, he still hasn't. That's really annoying. <laughs> Maybe at some point I'm going to restart the game. Or save and log out and all that. Just to see if we can get him back. Because it's a bit annoying to run. Actually, let me do that now. Well, that definitely did something strange. But apparently... <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that with the uh, unlocks. Because I already had all those items. But at least now Shingo is working. Uh, I hope I have <laughs> all my stuff still then. Uh, we do. And something happened here. Uh, didn't happen, but there's a few creatures who, that spawned here uh, called Chundles, and they're really a pain in the ass because they force you to kill them. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's just the way it is. So let's see if we can get up here without falling down. Yep, we got the shoey fruit here. So, that's three shoey fruits. Uh, where is he? Oh, that's Bararu. He's fighting someone. Let's help him. Because that one is really annoying. They kill the other animals, as you can see. So, that's why the ecosystem sometimes might seem empty. Which is really annoying. Yes, we have all the stuff we need, I think. Amity. Swain Seed. Shoey fruit. We stand back and shimu shima and all that. Shimu shima. So, a bit more health and upgrade. Oh, we got one of those nasty ones there. Thank God Bararo can fight back. So can we. Oh, he's not dead yet. Don't kid yourself with these guys. They can actually pack a punch if you don't avoid their hits. Well, Phoenix Candles are level 4. Let's just have a look here. So level 5, we need to have us 2 Grand Seeds. Now we need only 3. Trees up to the tier four, so that's great. Now we have a creature called Serpafur in the ecosystem, which we need to feed. But let's start with the grand seeds then. Um, and they look at right here, so relatively easy to get to. Thank God. That's one. And that's two. Just grab those. Don't need them all right now. I mean, yeah, we could just get these as well. What I'm really interested in seeing... Oh, is that Serpifer? It must be, right? Wow, he's big. I hope he's friendly. He doesn't seem angry or anything. Serpifer. So what do you like to eat, my friend? He likes corn, nashu fruit and shoey fruit. Hello. Let's see if he attacks us if we get too close. 
Oh, he's a gentle giant. Lovely. So the grand seeds, we need is to plant those, right? We can actually take that in here. Phoenix candles. No. Let's just ask him, actually. No, we just need to harvest them. So great. We need to feed the server fur and... Yeah, only thing left is actually the tier 4 and the last 3 and that should be relatively easy. Considering we have already 400 Amity. Let's plant one of the grand seeds out here. So it's just extending quite a lot now. Wow. Like, I mean, a lot. Okay, so this is the edge right here. Oh, that's a jungle. Oh my god. God damn it. He's a tank. But, you know, he makes huge turns, so you can kind of kill him while he does that. I don't know if I had to avoid that. I just did by default. Okay, that was one seed. I guess we could plant one closer to the mining town, just to make it look prettier. So ecosystem ends around here somewhere. There's a rustle over there. Good. I mean, since we have uh, this big of a system now, we can probably plant a lot of seeds and get the amity from that. So I'm just gonna do that really quick and then we go down to the low pier uh, tree and upgrade that as well so we passed 500 that should be enough right so i'm gonna stop planting seeds here i'm gonna find the big guy in here his footsteps what's this oh that's a bottleneck okay there you are don't wander off like that what's that Quillow. What do you like? You like pumpkin, tender filet. He actually eats meat. Oh, oh, okay. That, <laughs> of course, he's a hunter then. Let's see if I can link. Where's the tender filet? There we go. Link this one. Just take the take the meat. Damn it. Free food. Don't be a jerk. Wow, he shoots far. So you want a corn? Or Nashu fruit? We're gonna need three Nashu fruits. I mean, we could... Oh, are you kidding? Are you gonna attack this guy? You little... I didn't want to do this, but you're forcing my hand. He gives feather. Don't be afraid, I just saved you. I'm gonna give him some of these uh, shoes and we can go get some more. It's from the temperate system anyway, so... Stay here. No. Don't go. Please. Seriously, I just helped you. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope he didn't kill himself. Oh, he picked up the sun. What's going on? It's just rolling downhill. I want to be there when he picks it up so we can see if he gives some dung. Maybe he's different than Gorilla Mo. For a little dance. He did give some dung. Only three. Well, yeah. A little goes a long way. Was that all? Didn't give anything else? Hmm. Okay. So, I guess uh, let's head to the timbered system. So, we need some Nash shoes, I guess. Um, and we probably need some dung as well. 34. 
There we go. Let's send in. So we got all the basics done. That means we can hand in the dung, we can hand in the amity, and Shimu Shima. So, a bit more health. Did we get any new animals? Well, I bet we did. So, which one is that? Let's ask him. See what the requirements are. Golu. We need to find Golu. And then we need to get the two seeds and plant a whole lot more plants in this area. Let's get up the tree and get the grand seeds. Can't remember what this one is. Is it located up top, maybe? Oh, this is where you actually need to uh, have a break here on the beginning. Yeah, right here. So you can't go all the way in one go, at least not without the stamina potion. And then we can climb up. Let's see how far we get this time. Maybe we're lucky to get up here. Yep. There we go. So there are no grand seeds here, but there are Nashu fruits out there. Uh, I guess we need to go more up. Oh, oh, that was lucky. So that looks like a temperate seed, but we need the grand seeds, right? Oh, must be these guys. There. No! Oh well. Let's plant the seeds. We're gonna move closer to the city this time, our village this time. Because the ecosystem is probably pretty uh, far out now. Let's find it. Oh, we did get two seeds. No worries then. Let's see if we can actually plant it down here in the village, almost. We can. Needs to be within an ecosystem. But we can line the village with it. I wonder if we can use the other one over here then. That would be a nice look, wasn't it? Nope, but <laughs> we can't. But let's put it over here by the other stair then. And then we just need to plant a lot of seeds. So we can go with... Yeah, let's just do the temperate ones. Something like 20 more we needed, I think. Yeah, now we have something to look at. Uh, why are they like this? Too many people in here, I just want to get back to the dirt. Oh! No, I'm not gonna give you... I didn't know about these guys before. What did you want? So I'm probably gonna get some amity from doing these. I didn't notice these guys before. So maybe if you have the extra mats and all that, you can do that. And he also wants gold. And that's one way to get rich quick, right? Oh, someone, uh, you know, sent me here to pick up some gold. Uh, could you give me some gold? Oh, there is... That must be him. Hope he's friendly. That's uh, one of those that looks like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Hello, Golu. And like... Oh, there we go. Let us... Nashu fruit and shell fruit. Let's give him some Nashu link. Mm. 
Wake up! Seriously, my dude. Yeah. Eat. Okay, let's try some Nashu fruit then. If we have any. Oh, we don't. Uh, then we should make some lettuce, I guess. Why aren't you eating? So this cues me to just save and load and see if it helps. Okay. Ah, doing the same thing again. Kind of rediscovering stuff. Now the creatures here are gone, which I'm not too happy about. Oh, there he is. Hello, my friend. Now we have some food for you. Could you please eat it? Yes, finally. Did he grab it right away? And he even pooped. Five dung this time. Lovely. Yeah, you are happy as a clam. Right? That means we can go and talk to Sprite and find out what we need to do to level 5. So, we fulfilled all the requirements. And what else do we need? 1500 Amity. <laughs> 100 dung, 1 desert glass. And desert glass you can scarcely find in arid regions, and rainbow's room you can scarcely find in temperate ecosystems. In temperate ecosystems, notice that. So this it's this place here, and it's a shroom. So I am gonna assume <laughs> that we need to plant shroom seeds, um, and hopefully that will make one spawn in one of these. And then we need to see if we can find that desert glass. Because it didn't say ecosystem in the desert glass, it just said region, right? So... Well, guys, I'm gonna continue this. And yeah, you can all see the sound of my voice. I'm gonna cut the video here because it's already a bit long. And then we're gonna have a look in the next video if I can make it to level 5 with these guys, big trees here. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Take care and I'll see you next video. Bye.